All right, folks. So since I'm not here today, uh, here's your warm up. You have four questions. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave them there for a quick second. Now, obviously, you can press pause. You're smart girls and boys. So go ahead and press pause for me real quick and get these four problems done. I would expect you to work on them for a couple minutes. Um, number four is over here on the right hand side. I am going to go ahead and do number four here in just a second. So press pause, get those written down and work on those for a second. And then once you're ready, go ahead and keep listening. I'm about to do number four. So for number four, what it's asking us to do is it's asking us to find this Y value, but we're going to have to work this backward. The slope is already given. So what we do is we set this up using our slope formula. So remember, just if you've forgotten, m equals y2 minus y1 all divided by x2 over x1. So we're now going to work this backwards by plugging in what we know. So this is x1, this is x2, this is y1, and this y is going to rep be represented by my y2. So to set this up, we have 3 equals, that's my m equals, and then y2 minus y1. So y minus 3 all over 5 minus 4. Okay, so we're simply just going to now simplify, which leaves us with 3 equals y minus 3, can't do anything to them, all over 1, which is kind of pointless because when we divide by 1, nothing changes. So this now becomes 3 equals y minus 3. So my last step would simply be to add 3 to both sides. So if I add 3 to both sides, my 3 is canceled out. Y is equal to 6, which is my final answer. Okay, so make sure that you feel comfortable doing that. And talk it over with the neighbor if you need to, just to make sure you're on track. And then let's keep it moving. So on your notes, you have a bunch of space there for your notes. Um, you kind of want to work through, take your time, organize all this information here on the screen in that notes section. Um, I want to just draw your attention to a couple different things. First, this shouldn't be the first time you've seen y equals mx plus b. That's one of the foundations of algebra that we've learned and you've seen a million times. I think we know by now that the m represents the slope of that line. So your m value is always going to represent the slope. That's your rate of change, how quickly or slowly something is happening. Then the second thing is that b value. The b value represents the y-intercept. Now remember, the y-intercept is where it crosses the y-axis. So in this particular case, if we come over here to our graph on the right-hand side, it crosses the y-axis right there. That's my y-intercept. So in this particular case, my b value is equal to positive 2 because it's crossing the y-axis at positive 2. Let's also determine what my slope would be. Well, if I'm going to use my graph, I could actually do rise over run here on my graph. I'm going down negative 1, and I'm going to the right, positive 2. So rise over run is going to be my slope would end up being negative 1 half. So you're definitely able to identify your slope and the y-intercept from a uh, graph. Uh, remember that x, y is always an ordered pair. All right, and it's basically it's one that's always going to fall on the line. We have lots of ordered pairs. This is an ordered pair, the point 4, comma, 0. This is an ordered pair, the point negative 4, comma, uh, 4. So lots of different ordered pairs that are possible on this equation. So take a second if you need to, press pause, um, and get those notes all in that note section on your green sheet. All right, I'm going to move forward, keep it rolling here. So what I want you to do for this activity is I want you to look at these uh, five questions, A, B, C, D, E, and I want you to identify two things. What's the slope of each one and what's the y-intercept of each one? Shouldn't take long. They're almost all of them are in a nice, convenient setup. So really quickly, I'll just do a couple of these. This first one, my slope here would be this positive 2, right? So that's my slope right there. My y-intercept, I'm going to 
present my y-intercept as a point. So we want to write it as something, comma, something. And notice, because it's a y-intercept, the x value of the y-intercept always has to be 0. So in this case, my b value is 5. So my b value is 5, meaning my y-intercept is 0, comma, 5. All right, let's jump ahead. Let's look at um, letter D as in dog. So here, what's my slope? My slope really is this invisible 1 over 2. So my slope here is 1 half. And my y-intercept would be 0, comma, don't forget the negative, negative 3. Okay, 